All right, let's try this video for the third freaking time because my stupid GoPro freaking not recording the dang audio. So, how the heck do you freaking vlog your EGR through? So, how do you vlog your AM wideband? Through your EGR sensor on your GMT 800 truck. I'm gonna show you how to do it. This information is kind of hard to find, kind of hard to get to, and it's kind of hard to figure out if you don't, if you're not like super savvy with HP tuners. Um. So, obviously, we'll start at the EGR sensor. EGR sensor goes right there. I got it blocked off with a block off plate. Here's your wires that came to it. So you got red and yellow, or red and purple and white and gray. You don't need none of those. You just need that brown wire right there. And if you can even see it, there's a brown wire. So the brown wire is what goes to your AEM. That goes through the firewall. I uh, also got the AEM grounded right here. I know it's supposed to go to an ECM ground. I might fix that at some point, but it works for now. See, I put the AEM in the factory clock hole because that's the cleanest, simplest way to do it. If you come over here, the white wire coming out of your wideband goes to the brown wire on the EGR sensor and then your brown wire goes to ground and your red wire goes to switched power switch 12 volt so key on 12 volts and you can't see shit can you why is it so dark but anyways that's where all that stuff is at that's all you need to know that's done getting a little irritated at this GoPro camera I'm just saying Apologize. Got to throw them Cletus McFarlane's on, son. Say what? All right. Say what? All right. So the next step. So the next step is to set up your. User mass in HP tuners. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Before my camera flips out on me again. Um, Alright, in your tune, you got to make sure you have EGR enabled and then disable the EGR diag. So I'll just set those high 255, 254. I'll close this. And in here in your VCM scanner, come up here to, hang on, let me show you. Right here, we got wideband O2 and wideband O2 error logging. So we got that logging by going up here to tools, you come down to math parameters, you click on one of these user, ma user maths, and it gives you a blank. So here's the info you need to put in to get it to log your AEM wideband. And there's this, here's the ID for your EGR sensor, which is that 2811. So you take and put in this equation. You take a screenshot of that. I know it's hard to read, it's a little bit blurry because we're looking at a screen with a camera but it's parentheses brackets 2811.10 close bracket times 2.375 close parentheses plus 7.3125 and that was done so then you set up your AEM wideband error look up, a, look up here you got wideband error via EGR Get your EGR sensor versus your air fuel ratio commanded sensor. And 
You got this big long equation. Take a screenshot of that. And I'll read it out to you. So you got 100 times parenthesis parenthesis bracket 2811.10 bracket times 2.3750 plus 7.3125 parenthesis minus bracket 50121 bracket parenthesis divided by bracket 50121 bracket and that's it that's all you gotta do and that should get you going if you have any trouble hit me up in the comments or something and i'll try to help you out if i can so now that that's out of the way what the heck are we gonna do for the next video all right so here's what i'm thinking i just did the e-fan swap i just did the e-fan swap the other day so if you ain't seen that video go back and watch that and i'll show you how to do the e-fan swap Next on the agenda, um, I believe I'm going to do TBSS intake and add a kiss can to it at the same time. I already got my Corvette filter on here, and I already got my I already got my three bolt uh, throttle body adapter on here. I'm still gonna I'm gonna port this, and I'm probably gonna port the runners and the intake also. And I'm gonna smooth this transition up in here. And taper it as much as I can. I do have the TBSS starter body, which I would love to put on here, but I really don't want to use that excellent thing, so I ain't heard nothing but trouble about it. So we'll do that. I might do something with this uh, auxiliary fan here in that video, and then I got some 456 gears to be installed. I gotta order a crush collar delete. And the tubular pan hard to go on. I gotta fix the sway bar that's on there already. Um, so that should be fun. If you want to see that video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And we'll see see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.